Today we're gonna pull an engine with Matt and Ed. This is uh, Bella's brother and dad. They came all the way from Toronto to help us out. And hopefully by the end of the weekend, we'll have a boat with no motor in it. That's the goal. Get up there, and then I can pass up <laughs> Starring Sun. What we're doing is we are lifting the front of the motor and pulling it back a little bit to break the seal with the shaft. All right. That's rusted up. And so here we have the drive shaft coming through the hull with the stuffing box which usually has rope in it and this is where we are trying to separate these two ends. This end is attached to the transmission and the motor and this end is attached to the propeller shaft and you can see light through there but oh wow yeah 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 so we're able to wiggle the motor. We got all the mounts out. It's looking good. Awesome if we could put the bolt back through there and just take some weight off um, with a rope. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, or not even through that, just through here. Do well, we, yeah. Do we have a? I have I have a bunch of rope. Okay. What am I looking at? Explain what's going on. Oh dang! The engine's I coming. See it. Um, could you step on that slider? Wow. Oh, boy. oh dang! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Get in! all by myself.
it actually went pretty smoothly. Like, it was, I don't know, no, no bolts got too stuck. If anything, the engine was probably not securely fastened to the, to the hull. True. But uh, we got the engine out of the engine compartment relatively easily, and then uh, we used the, the chain hoist fasten some skis to <laughs> to the bottom to slide it along and it went really smoothly and there's the engine out of the boat what do you guys think it's Good time job. for tacos <laughs> taco time taco time all right <laughs> the crew has ruled and there's our empty engine bay which is pretty exciting well <laughs> it's dirty, but yeah. For a 50-year-old boat, it's not bad. Okay, so the motor is out, and it's on skis. Uh, we fasten some two by fours to the bottom. Today, the plan is to get the motor out of the cockpit and down onto the floor uh, over there. We're planning to put place a beam across from the gantry right here to the boat and use our handy dandy chain hoist to take the motor out of the cockpit and down onto the ground. Matt and Ed are here again today helping out with pulling the engine off and whatever else we might <laughs> we might get to <laughs> but uh, yeah it should go a lot smoother with three sets of hands than one or two stable are we right now? Not. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 stop, yep. So we should take up slack. This is gonna have to come. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's short. 
Well, the fuel um, gauge doesn't work. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, that's not optimal. No, that's not the color you want your gas to be. <laughs> so we got the motor out, we got the gas tank out, and now we're gonna pull out some miscellaneous things and we'll, we'll film that because we haven't filmed everything else. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got a bilge, uh, not a bilge, a blower motor and cables and stuff that are all going to come out. So here we go. What do you think? I'm going to rip it off. Yeah? Go for it. Hey, yeah, <laughs> that's a good noise. So there's got to be more there, no? Oh, that broke. Ooh. No. That's it. I can, <laughs> I can pull it out through the box. Should be able to pull that out. Engine thing now. And that one. I'll snip there. And that's blower tube number two. <laughs> All gone. Uh oh. Shoot. <laughs> I didn't I didn't commit. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's gross. Yeah. You got it. Go. We got the engine out. It's right here behind me. We got the gas tank out, which is great. And now we've just got to find something <laughs> new to put in it. Um, I'm looking at some uh, using an electric golf cart uh, and recycling the powertrain from one of those. And I'm hoping that in the next couple of weeks. We can start putting that in. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button and follow along. We'll see you next time on Sailing Decision. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs>